from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, April the 1st, 2020. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues to urge Israelis to stay home in the face of the coronavirus crisis, particularly important with the upcoming Passover holiday, which will indeed, Netanyahu said, be different from all other Passovers. The Prime Minister shared an illustration on social media that the current situation requires us to celebrate Passover differently, stressing that this holiday must only be celebrated with members of your household. Israel's health ministry's legal advisor Uri Schwartz told a press briefing today that the issue of Seder night was causing officials to lose sleep. Schwartz said, we are very concerned that gatherings on the festival eve will lead to a surge in infections. Israel police was reportedly increasing their presence for Seder night to make sure that the rules were followed. Meanwhile, Israel is doing its best to produce its own ventilators for those COVID-19 patients who need them. Israel Hayom reported that Israel Aerospace Industries set up production at an Israeli missile factory and have delivered some 30 ventilators to the health ministry so far. Israel's Defense Minister Naftali Bennett said we cannot remain dependent on procurement from other countries. We must develop independent, advanced capabilities. And the IDF shared today that a weapons manufacturing center is now making a new weapon for the fight against COVID-19, tweeting that previously dedicated to tank parts and body armor, now they're making protective goggles for medical staff and spray guns for sanitizing public spaces. Well, the American Jewish Committee announced $150,000 to help victims of the coronavirus and to provide support for medical workers. AJC CEO David Harris said in a press release yesterday, to save a life, a core Jewish value is critically important in this time of a global health crisis. Each of us, Harris said, must do whatever we can. I only wish we could do more at the present time. Those receiving the AJC donations include Health Research Incorporated, which is affiliated with the New York State Department of Health, to help the state's response, including buying life-saving equipment. That donation, Harris said, is made in honor of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's laudable leadership during this crisis. Other recipients include Israel's Migal Galilee Research Institute, which has been working on a vaccine for the virus, and for the government and for the Jewish community of Italy, the country that has been so hard hit by the pandemic. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has given the go-ahead for a stage two of trials, to treat a condition suffered by COVID-19 patients that leads them to need ventilators. American Israeli clinical stage pharmaceutical company NeuroRx and Swiss drug development company Relief Therapeutics received a study may proceed letter from the FDA to begin a mid-stage trial for aviptatil to treat ARDS acute respiratory distress in coronavirus patients, which is responsible for half of the fatalities from the virus. And the Friends of the IDF is doing its part to help Israeli soldiers, including about 1,000 young Jewish American men and women who voluntarily enlisted in the IDF as lone soldiers during this pandemic. FIDF staff in Israel is handing out tens of thousands of hygiene kits and other items to the thousands of soldiers who will not be home for the Passover holiday, ordered to stay on base to minimize their exposure to the virus. FIDF National Director and CEO Major General in Reserve Meir Khalifi Amir said FIDF is in daily communication with the IDF to follow their directives and understand the soldiers' ongoing needs in order to adjust our support and activities and guarantee that even during these difficult times, we continue to fulfill the needs of our sons and daughters in uniform. Well, a Jewish high school in Los Angeles made a lucky discovery that will now help those 
on the front lines of the battle against the coronavirus. During a thorough cleaning of the campus of the De Toledo High School in Los Angeles, staff found boxes of N95 masks, 2,000 in total. They had bought them as safety contingencies during the devastating fires last fall. They donated 700 of them to the LAPD and 1,300 to a local hospital. Principal Mark Spall said if we can make even a small impact on organizations that make a difference in this world, then it's a win-win. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, April the 1st at 7 o'clock. It's from the Aleph Bet at 745. Author Rabbi Ken Spiro talks about Jewish values that revolutionized world thinking. At 9 tonight, Mark Golub sits down with Bert Vizotsky, professor of Midrash at the Jewish Theological Seminary of America in New York City, who talks about the importance of rabbinic commentary to the Torah, which reflects the worldview of the Jewish tradition. At 10, Shai Hell talks about the work of Abraham Joshua Heschel and Chaim Soloveitchik. And coming up right after this newscast tonight, a new episode of Together During COVID-19 with Mark Golub. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, April the 1st, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.